Okay, I'm about six weeks post-op quad repair, surgical repair, and I still have a lot of limitations in knee flexion, but much better. it's much better than it was. I still have a lot of weakness in the quads. I don't like at this point working on too much straight straightening out the knee because uh, it's actually kind of a deleterious movement to make when you're trying to uh, strengthen the quads. I'd rather do closed chain standing up semi squats or step ups and things like that at this stage of the game. Although I can certainly work on uh, active assistive uh, and maintain it there and do eccentric contractions, lowering my leg down and things of that nature. Um, not to say I couldn't get away with doing it the other way, but I'm trying to be a little conservative about things. Now, in my one of my other videos, you saw me pushing myself around in a wheeled chair. And I just want to show you how you can do it in a wheeled stool as well. Here's the stool. Okay. I know this is a strange angle, but it gets the point across. This is not professionally produced, as you can see. I just want to my patients to have something to be able to look at to duplicate for themselves. All right, so I can pull myself like this. I can push myself back like this. I can go sideways like this and sideways like this. Now, as you see, my right foot is helping me. All right, now what I want to do is try it with just my left foot, and that's tough for me at this stage of the game. Using my quads to do this is very difficult. Going this way isn't too bad for me, but you can see when I push this way, oh, I can really feel that. It's quite achy, but it is starting to strengthen that muscle. And as I do more, it's actually getting slightly easier. Okay, but if it's too much, I can certainly help with my right foot. Okay, and then I can push with just one foot to the side, push with one foot to this side, and if I need the help from my right foot, I use the help from my right foot. And of course, I can just use my foot to sort of spin around while in the chair. I can use both feet. I can use one foot just to spin around. I can stop, spin around the stool in the other direction. Okay. So I'm going to try it again. Push out. Oh, I can really feel that. Come back in. Push out. Oh, or just keep repeating Pushing it out like this. Okay. Another way we can do this is I can either sit down or I can stand up if I've got good balance or sufficient balance on my right leg and just move medicine balls around. I can roll it around different directions. I can push it. I can kick it like that. I have to use my quads to do this. All right, that's actually, strangely enough, a little challenging. As I said, I can stand up. If I need to hold onto a table like this, I can do that. Or I can do it sitting down, moving the ball in different directions. I also have this ball here. I can move it around, just go back and forth like that, knee flexion and extension, side to side, circles, circles. I can even step up closer and work on plantar flexion, which is pointing my foot down, wrapping it around the ball. And I can go into dorsiflexion and then put my toes on here to extend my toes and get a stretch in my toes. And then back this way, side to side and all around. And I can push and just keep pushing it using my quads to push it away. I also have a vibra roll here. Get a little vibration at the same time. And of course I can roll that back and forth. In fact, I can even use this directly on my thigh itself because that's where my scar is just to create a little soft tissue work up here. There's different types of rolls you can use. There's rolls that are not as smooth as this. You have to figure out what works for you, what you can tolerate.
Here I'm using a regular ball, which allows me to compress it and feel what it feels like because it has some give to increase weight bearing in there. And I can actually push down real hard, prevent it from going anywhere, and I've got some isometrics going. Same thing basically here using a balance desk. I can move in each plane of motion. I can do the sitting down, and when I am able to, I can actually stand on the balance desk and do all sorts of balance activities with one foot or both feet together.